Alexander. What's up, everyone? Hi, everyone. We are live. It's Friday night, and tonight we are going to be talking about ways to beat the summer slowdown. It's not summer. It's not summer yet, but we're getting in there. It's going to be summer. It's going to be summer soon. It's coming up. We had a gorgeous, gorgeous weather today. That's why we thought about this this video topic for tonight. It was almost 80 degrees here, and um, <laughs> we were out having a great time, so... We decided to do a video just like this tonight. Yeah, so summer slowdown. Um, there are people say it doesn't exist. It exists. I don't make sales. Um, after reviewing all the numbers from last year, you know, taxes were due. It happens. It slows down a little bit. You know, um, some people more than others. So um, these are going to be not conventional tips. These aren't going to be like, right. oh, oh, yeah, just do this, like stuff you normally hear. The first one's going to be a little obvious, <laughs> but the rest of them are going to be a little uh, thinking outside of the box, <laughs> you know? So that's what we do this for. Help you think outside of that box. What's up, Kimberly? What's up, Elisa <laughs> Goldman? What's up, Artie Hayes? How you guys doing tonight? We didn't turn our pretty flamingo on. Oh, we didn't turn flamingo on. You forgot to turn it on. It lights up. <laughs> <laughs> So let's jump right into it. So ways to maximize your profit during the summer slowdown, which is definitely on the way. Um, number one. Not, this is not unusual. List, list, more, list, 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 but list more than usual. If things are ever slowing down for you, summertime, whenever, if any time it's slowing down, you want to use that time to up your listings. The more yep. listings you have, the more you're going to sell. So if for whatever reason you're in a slump, if you go, okay, let's five items a day, but you up that to 10, 15, 20 items a day, and now your closet goes from like 250 to 300 to 400 listings, when you're, whatever reason, the algorithm gets out of the slump, you're going to have so many listings for people to buy that <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, your sales aren't just going to come out of a slump. They're going to yeah. smack you in the face, and you're going to be like, woo, sales. So I, I, we always say list, list, list. But you build have the to closet, kind yeah, of build the closet. Take, you know, take it and build it up where you're not kind of like fighting an uphill battle. You know, I used to have, I say I like running up an escalator. I would sell three, but list five. So I'm really only up two. Um, but take advantage of the slowdown. It, you make the best of it, you know, no matter when you slow down. List. List and that's them all. the most common one we're going to tell you today. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep listing. Yes. Just list through it. You're going to, yes. you you know, the more you list, the more sales obviously a, you're going to make. I get a slow so. week every three weeks. Every three weeks, I get a little bit slower a week. It's been like that, like clockwork. Ever since for, she can remember, yeah. As long as I can remember. And I list my booty off. Because then the fourth week happens and Hazam, I get some sales and they start coming in and I get more items that people want to buy. So yes, oh I see a little ghosties. The invisible man <laughs> is behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had my I just took some suit pictures uh the other day and I haven't put my dress form. I haven't taken the tie and shirt off the dress form yet anyway. I kinda so. like it. I was like, you know what? What do we do? I know I found some awesome Burberry gold button blazers. I couldn't wait to get them up, so I put them up. Because he was like halfway in the shot, like one <laughs> arm. I'm like, that looks even creepier than having it like all the way in the shot. You know, <laughs> put it in the shot. So and... Guys, if if you have a question, throw them in the chat. We'll answer your questions as they come in. Um, if you're new here, definitely click on the subscribe button. We talk about like, Poshmark all the time. We put videos out every week, and we um go live every friday so definitely subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet and give us a thumbs up and um like the video yeah oh so, hasn't seen a sale since monday uh, it's your booty off girl you know they'll and come back it will come back and when you do you're gonna have more items for people to choose i think from. i went on a little slump for you i think did. i was on like a four day slump for a little Where while so and you, and you know i just had to break through it there's certain benchmarks in the, in the numbers when you hit your listings and it, it there's no proof but it, no. it really works i mean if you get if, if we're in between 350 and 400 or 250 and 300 we're not making sales until we hit to the 400 as number money. or more as many sales so there's definitely benchmarks that if you hit you're, you're going to start to see an increase in activity. So that's why we say always list, list, list. It seems to me like, and it's like, it's not, it's not a proven thing. Um, no. And they, like even in the analytics group, there's like, yay, nay, whatever. But I've seen it at least with our closets, you know, um, I'm almost at 400. Um, 
woo. Um, but when I hit like 300, my sales went like through the roof. I was like barely maintaining yep. between like 300 and 320. And I was listing my booty off. I was like, gotta make 400. And, and like, I would hit, finally hit 320. And then all of a sudden I'm at like 310. And I'm like, oh, it was like a pain, you know? But then I finally pushed through it at that third week when it slowed down and then 350 hit, same thing happened, you know? So it's just something that we see and we might not, it's not proof, but it, Penthouse it, and pavement. It. She found a, or they found a Burberry gold button blazer, but I have to repair the lining. Uh, cost 35 bucks. What did I list mine for? So mine are listed for uh, 205 right now. I'll take offers around 150 to 175. In fact, I just sent out an offer today for 175. I haven't heard back yet on them, but it's still new. I just listed them this week. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tip number two: stock up on summer essentials now, now before other people get them. Yesterday, you know, uh, and not just resellers. Like, you know, going to a thrift store. You know, um, you're, obviously there's going to be other resellers. We met one the other day. Yep. We kind of saw the look on her face. She saw it. She's like, I sell too. And I was like, yeah. But people go to thrift stores to also buy their own clothes. You know, and they're not in the zone of thinking. Let me buy shorts. Let me buy this just yet we had a very gorgeous day today they're going to start thinking that mentality really soon so you're going to have a harder time getting really good product because not only are resellers going to be mining the stuff you know the people that wear the clothes and go to the goodwills and the thrift stores and the salvation armies and everywhere to, to wear it for themselves it's going to be slim pickings so yeah. stock stock up, up what you on can the stuff that you're going to be listing like crazy in the next month or two and have it all you know, um, I've been sourcing shorts <laughs> since like February. So I, yeah, <laughs> we've been picking up shorts for a while now. I haven't been listing them yet, but I just started listing them recently. One, so what I'm doing now is I'm listing uh, a short sleeve button down, uh, two polos, a pair of jeans, and a pair of shorts. So I'm yep. kind of covering all my bases mm -hmm. for the spring and summer, and uh, or or a pair of pants to um, spring pants. I've been doing shoes, but um, I've been jeans, sprinkling my shorts, dress. and eventually it's mm -hmm. going to be all shorts and all that stuff. But we'll get to that point probably around June. But it's good to start listing that stuff now. No, I'm not saying you guys can't find it. summer stuff in the middle of summertime. Of course, of course you can. You know, and we can all get lucky and find some awesome things. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult, especially in quantity. So uh, get your summer stuff now. Start looking yeah. for it. You know, um, and I'm not saying turn down stuff that's out of season. If you find this like an expensive Burberry blazer. And it's a winter blazer. Sure, sure, get it. Well, Burberry, <laughs> those blazers will sell in the summer. Those are great for weddings, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Burberry blazers, those navy blue blazers, perfect to pick up right now. And it's actually a perfect time to list them because – so we'll jump into that tip right now, actually. It's a little down the list, but we'll jump into it right now. It's a perfect time to list those blazers because it's wedding season. <laughs> and a very common um, look for men at a wedding in the summer is a you know a pair of khakis or tan pants, uh, blue navy blazer with the gold buttons and a gold tie. And it's a classic look. It's a timeless look. It's never going to go out of style. And um, those are what a lot of men are wearing to summertime weddings, especially if they're outside and all that. So it's great to stock up on that stuff. And people aren't going to think to go go to a thrift store and look for blazers. So you could probably find some decent sport jackets right now, you know, the, the navy blue and the gold buttons, and uh, you'll be set for when wedding season pops. On the woman's side of the things. Wedding dresses slash bridesmaids dresses or bridesmaids dresses that can also be worn to like a black tie event. You know, we, we us women like to get a little bit more of a day out of a dress. Um, yeah. And, and that's all summer long. People are going to be looking. I've sold my own bridesmaids dresses when you know, his brother got married. My bridesmaids dress sold in like a couple of days because, you know, when you're asked to be a bridesmaid, they give you a color palette. Some, some brides are like, okay, it's just this color. Some are a very specific dress and they'll Google search it. And if you're very specific about what dress you have and you're the size, they'd rather buy that dress for like pennies on the dollar than going to an actual store and buying it for a couple hundred dollars, especially if they're only going to wear it once. If you have bridesmaids dresses or have access to them, list them now. <laughs> yes. Roy, um, Roy B asked, what is trending and what should you buy from the thrift stores? So that's actually going to be a topic for next week's video we're going to do a trend uh summer trend video next week for the live show so come tune in for that and you'll get all the trendingness you need for the summertime months lindy asked do we do the 30 minute method yes um i don't do it every single day um i used to when i was working for somebody else the 30 minute method helped me grow my business because i didn't have as much time because it was 
working full time for someone else. I do have a video on the 30 minute method. It shows you how to do it. Um, if you're interested, just go into our video, search the minute method. I will come up, I'll talk to you about it. Um, but sometimes I do parts of the 30 minute method when I have more time, yeah. you know, I definitely edit next list a bunch. I definitely list, a bunch, you know, and I, I do follow new people and say hello to a bunch of new people when I'm sitting down. I'm like, okay. Cause sometimes even though we do this full time, you know, sometimes we're a little pressed for time. It happens. And I will, sometimes I have time just to sit down and share my closet. That's all I have time for, you know, but 30 minute method is a good thing to do. It makes the algorithm happy in every which way. So our next tip on the list is sell not so mystery mystery boxes or reseller boxes. <laughs> and what are you packing with, Karen? So Jay doesn't like mystery boxes. I, so yeah, because I've heard so many horror stories about them. I don't want to, you know, I, I think if I put a mystery box out, I'd put quality stuff in it. But I don't like the stigma behind it. I don't like people. It's, you know, people abusing the, the policies on Poshmark and sending stuff that they shouldn't send out to people. And you get screwed for spending 50 bucks. With um, prohibited items. Yeah. Like, why are you sending something with a candle in it? Like, why would you do that? Um, but a not so mystery box. Now, I have seen these. I haven't done it. But what I'm talking about is making a listing for a mystery box and taking a picture of the tag so they at least know what brands they're getting. Like J. Crew, they're going to get some Made Well, they're going to get this. So that they at least know that, that in that box they're getting these brands. Granted, they don't know exactly what from these brands, but then they can make their educated decision on that instead of just who knows what's in it. Now, one thing that, that what's great about these mystery boxes in the summertime is you can put some of your not listed out of season items in it. Not all of them. You're not going to jam it full of wool sweaters in the middle of July, but you could definitely put some jeans in there, put some, a sweater or two in there, you know, because after the summertime, when people are ordering them in June, July, August, all of a sudden back to school starts and people are starting to think up, yeah. of sweaters and every, it's slowed down for everybody. If it, summer slowed down. So people want these mystery boxes because they're trying to get inventory on the cheap. You know, and, and so they're like, okay, I'll get this mystery box. And then by the time I inspect it, get it, August comes around and I can list it all, yep. you know, so you can kind of get rid of some of your out of season stuff, a, a, a portion of it and make some money on it. So you've know? you got a question that came in from Vicky. Are all your listings on both Poshmark and Mercari? And if so, how are your sales on Mercari? No, um, I, they are not. I have been on Poshmark so much longer than I've been on Mercari. Um, and my Mercari has been like getting deleted because I've been like, every time I list something on Mercari, I swear it sells on Poshmark. And you think, why don't you just list everything? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I go on like every two, every couple days, I'll say, okay, it's a day of doing Mercari at Poshmark. You know, um, sometimes I'm just really focused on Poshmark or eBay. Yep. Um, you know, we, it, it's better for me but personally. Bottom line is Poshmark not. is is where you want to be selling your clothing. That's I mean, Mercari is Mercari is a good platform, but mm -hmm. Poshmark is killing it right now, and it's it's proof. I mean, we're going on Mercari every day and deleting something because it sells on Poshmark just when we list it on Mercari. So that's you know, it's it, the proof is in the pudding right there. Occasionally, that's, it's the other way around. Yeah. Occasionally, you know, I'm, I'll be like, oh, I got to delete that off Poshmark. Wow. Huh, okay. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, and I will. It's pretty much just copy and paste. It's the same pictures. Mercari, uh, Teddy, Teddy, Mercari is pretty much um just like eBay. You don't follow people or share anything. You just set your listings. Forget it. People and you will stumble upon more. them and you'll sell them. So like yeah, you can eBay. sell video games, hard goods, stuff like that. It's like a mini eBay kind of thing. Um, that's one thing that I, I'm going to start. I, I put like liquid stuff I, that's prohibited on Poshmark or Mercari, like liquid foundation. Um, I sold some perfumes and stuff like that. I put that on Mercari because I know I can't sell it on Poshmark. <laughs> so next tip for the summer slowdowns is sports, golf, tennis, running, and all that, all that good stuff. The like, so obviously, you know the obvious. obviously summertime sports, we're thinking baseball and golf and stuff like that. You Golf, know, you want to look for uh, Footjoy and Callaway and Ashworth and, and the good solid brands. Footjoy is a really good brand to look for Loud in bounce. polos. Loud Bounce good as well. Yeah, Orvis for, for Golf yeah, um, for both. For, yeah, um, but Footjoy is going to do really well and you're going to be able to find them well. Loud Bounce, you're not going to be able to find so well. But well in our area. Footjoy, you're going to find a ton all over the place. It's a very common shirt, but it sells for good money. Um, I list them at 55 and I'll sell them at 35 to 40. 
and uh, you can do bundles with them too. So golf is great. Golf is a key move for summertime sales. And for women too, you think, okay, that's great. Men have polo shirts, like Jay is saying, all these things. Women play golf too. Yes, it's a little bit more niche. And and I'm not talking about the obvious stuff about like, you know, sportswear. Obviously, we're still going to be listing our Lululemon and our, our Athleta. And when we find it, we're going to grab it. But you know, when you find something that says like Nike golf and it's a cute little, like it could be like a tennis skirt or something and it's cheap. Somebody's going to want that because it is the season for people to be yeah. out of the house. They've been stuck inside all winter <laughs> and they're out doing what they love to do. And granted, not everybody plays tennis or golf or whatever, but you're going to speak to the people that do, and you're going to have that stuff in the closet. And not many people are going to have that kind of stuff in their closet. Yeah. So go out and find it. Um, Maddie's got a question. Maddie J, actually. I'm at almost 700 active listings. I'd like to actually keep it around 500. I have daily sales and list five to seven items a day. However, I sell two, three. Uh, so my closet is constantly growing. How would you go about keeping your closet around a number you feel comfortable at? 700 is a bit out of control. It's taking over my house and it takes forever to share. <laughs> it takes forever to share. I can imagine. Yeah, we have about a, a thousand between us. So yes. we're uh, in the same boat. And, and, and because we're a team, there's days where it's like I share the closets or he'll be sharing the closet. So one of us is sitting down for like an extended amount mm -hmm. of time, ship, like logging into both and sharing. So we feel you, you know, we don't have that much, but if it's taking over your house, it's okay. If 500 is still really good and, and people make daily yeah. sales on 500, you know, so um, it might be a bit of oversourcing for you or just not sourcing as much and kind of dwindling it down, but definitely pay attention to when you have those spurts and sales and hover around that number. Like me and Jay, like we were just talking about earlier. It's like in these certain increments for us. At so this point though, with your, with your 700 those. items in your closet right now, it's going to be really hard to downsize without taking a hit in profit mm -hmm. because if you suddenly stop listing, items every day and you try to wait and you wait till your closet goes down to 500. Yeah, you can relist. You can relist, true, and yeah. maintain numbers. relist and maintain numbers. I still think relisting is not as good as listing fresh. Um, <laughs> but you're, yeah, you're going to, you're going to have a, a tough time maintaining profit if you're trying to drop down to 500. So my best advice would be just stick with 700, try and keep it right there. Um, and don't go higher than that. Just, I love new listings. I love making the number go up and obviously that's not your problem. You know, you want the opposite to happen. However, realisting to me, it works like it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it works. Whoever here follows us on Instagram, same exact thing for Pew Flamingo Instagram. If you don't get on it, um, I just made a post and I had these jeans closet clear out happened what, last weekend, mm -hmm. last weekend. Um, and I had hit my historical low and I'm looking at them like, I'm not dropping these no more. It was a pair of seven for all mankind Giselle jeans. They're very like kind of like a trouser like jean. Um, and my offers to Lakers had gone out kind of the low and it wasn't going out to many people. And I'm like, yeah, I have to relist these, you know, and I relisted them. They sold for full price, like hours, hours after I like relisted it. I still have the pictures of me relisting it in my phone. And I'm like, that doesn't happen all the time, but it does. So if you're, you can relist and, and still list and then dwindle down. Vicky, I'll address this real quick because I saw somebody else said something similar earlier in the chat. So I saw a comment earlier in the chat said, I have 700 listings and maybe one sale a, a, a week or something like that. And then I see Vicky saying, I have 1,400 listings. Wow. It takes uh, 1.5 hours to share the closet. And I still haven't had a sale and sales are slow for me. So you guys, you really want to, at this point, when you when you have multiple, a ton of items in your closet, like I'm saying over 500 and you're not making sales, you've got to start reevaluating your closets. you got to see, are my SEO. brands right? Are my titles right? Are my pictures right? Is every, because something's not working for yes. you. With that many listings, you should be making five to 10 sales a day. Um, especially if you have a VA sharing your closet and you're doing everything right. I mean, it's, it's a, at least, at There's least three sales else. a day. There's something that's preventing you from making sales right now. So if you have, if you have that problem, reevaluate your closets, we offer closet consultations, get in touch with us on, on a, that's Instagram. Right. If you want a closet consultation with us, we'll go over the details with you. We'll work through your closet. We'll figure out. 1400. We'll, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll go through. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what we recommend to fix. And um, that's not normal to have that many yeah. items for sale and, and to have them shared because, yes, you have to share. Um, and then you have someone else doing it for you. You're paying a VA to share for you, you know, and, and nothing like there's something up with that. So definitely. 
reevaluate at least a lot of them. And then once you reevaluate, just relist because then you're going to like get a brand new listing with updated pictures and updated SEO. And then with that many listings, you're going to should have some sales, should have some. Yeah, see, Maddie's, Maddie J is making a hundred dollars a day just trying to get rid of items. I mean, just keep doing it. Keep it at 700. You're making good money. You're making mm -hmm. just, you know, don't go higher, but get it. Uh, Keep it right there. That's a sweet spot for closets right now. 700 to 1,000 listings, you're going to make good money and you're going to continue to make good money. I wouldn't recommend dropping down to 500. And we just, I saw a comment that just came in actually right before Maddie J's uh, speaking, or I was at 700 plus listings and it got so much, I dropped down to 400 listings and it stopped my sales. It took like two to three weeks to start my sales back up. So that's what I'm talking about. You're going to lose the profit if you go and you start to do and a drastic those reduction. Numbers really do you know, like certain numbers really do affect your sales. Yeah. I'm convinced of it, but that's a huge difference. 700 or 400. That's huge. You know, but especially depending on people's house, I can see the inventory management and like it taking over your house. You know, it's starting to take over ours. <laughs> we is. moved into a bigger house to do this and we're already starting to bust out the seams doesn't, doesn't help that we added a person to the family and we're working <laughs> towards getting a pallet in this in the fall so um we need space like crazy or uh, so we're gonna get it and we're gonna we're gonna get that pallet and be successful yes. with it and we're gonna figure out how to do it but um if that we're means moving into a warehouse or whatever now. we'll figure that out but mm -hmm. if you, you just do what you got to do to be successful if you have 700 listings and you're making good money Get a storage locker. It costs a hundred bucks a month and throw some stuff in a storage locker. And if you have to drive to that storage locker to get stuff out every couple of days, ship every couple of days, it's not going to kill you that much or every other day. Um, and just make trips and make it work. Put some money aside. Wife. You can even build a shed. You yeah. know, that's a write off to a business. If you have to build and, and then you can write off the square footage of the shed, you know, you can even have it on property. I'm like, but when you have, if you're making good money, and you have enough to pay your bills and reinvest and save, split the savings up. Say, okay, this goes to you know, rainy day fund and this goes to my shed. And, and then you can write that entire thing off and then you can just have to walk outside and go into the shed and you have storage on hand. Tanya know? Brittingham asks, there are uh, answers. do you relist immediately or do you wait a few days to relist? Now, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, We relist, so what we do is if a listing is stale, Mm -hmm. We'll relist it, you know, six months down the road, three months down the road, whatever. We'll relist it at that point. I, I we don't relist like items that we've listed immediately. I don't know no, if that's what you no. mean, or I'm a little confused by the question. So if you want I to clarify that, we'll answer it. Be a stickler on it. I used to relist every month, <laughs> and this is when I had a smaller class. That this is before, like I did this full time, um, and I would in my inventory tracking number on the bottom of my listing, it would one of the numbers actually meant when I listed it. It was like code. Um, and I, I was like a stickler with that. I was like, Oh, got to relist it, you know? Um, and it worked and it helped move those items. But now it's like, I pay really close attention because I do participate in closet clearouts. I do send offers to likers. I pay attention at how low those offers have gotten, how many people it goes out to, how many likes I'm getting on the item. And when I hit my historical low and how low I want to go on an item. Yeah. She uses and a whole system to relist. So. When I, say okay now if something's left over from last year like i still have a few pairs of shorts from last year and tank tops from last year now's the time to relist them because now they're a brand new listing fresh eyes on them relevant eyes on yep. them because it's warm weather time so guys if you're enjoying this content definitely hit that thumbs up button give us a like there's 84 of you in here right now Ooh. Get some, you get a like from all you guys that would be awesome for us we 84 love you. people that don't um, see my little flamingo if you're new to our channel definitely consider subscribing we talk about poshmark all the time and um, we go live every friday we do have an email list that uh, you guys can get on if you're new here click the first link in the description you're going to get a free six part poshmark workshop just for signing up for that email list you can't get those uh, videos on youtube it shows you how we run a full time Poshmark business right out of our house. First link in the description gets you all that stuff sent to your email. You guys will love it. You won't regret it. So click that link and get on our email list. We're also having, we also have some exciting news that we're going to be talking about very soon. So, and you're, you guys on the email list are going to hear about it first. So definitely get on that list and we'll let you know what's going on when it happens. Awesome. So last one, it's already been half an hour almost. Mm -hmm. Time flies when we talk about Poshmark. <laughs> so last one is to work on accessories. Now in the summertime, people 
sunglasses, floppy hats, beach cover-ups. These are things that people are searching for on the internet, not just Poshmark, but on the internet, because it's something that people usually, unless they're like high-end sunglasses, you know, like trendy ones, they'll go through them. It's like a seasonal thing. They don't save them from last year or they get broken or misplaced, you know? People are used to dropping like 30 bucks on sunglasses, you know, real quick. So um, those of you who are into wholesale buys, whether it's name brand or non-name, like boutique items, this is where you want to start stocking up floppy hats, sunglasses, on-trend things. What's on yep. trend for um, summer men accessories? I don't know. Oh. What kind of... <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. I know by that sound. Okay. Say it. Freaking bucket hats. I can't stand bucket hats. I just, I, I can't stand. They're on trend. They're, <laughs> fedoras right are on trend too, though. I love fedoras. Fedoras you are great. Fedora. I, I wear a fedora. But just, I can't it. get over these bucket hats. They drive me nuts. <laughs> it's just my opinion. I'm sure if you guys love bucket hats, that's fine. In fact, if you love bucket hats, throw a one in the comments right now. We'll see how many of you guys love bucket hats out there. But I Not hate his them. thing. I hate them. So Vicky's got a question here. I think Jason would love this blazer I bought today. It's vintage and completely paint splattered. Really cool. It has a vintage Workers of America tag. Carrie Balt Baltimore. No size. How do I determine it? So what you're going to do is you're going to take regular measurements, which you like you would with a clothes, but blazers are a little different. So you're going to take the width from pit to pit. That's going to give you uh, your average measurement. So if it says 25 inches, that means your blazer is a 50. 50. Now, to determine whether it's short, regular, or long, you're going to have to measure the sleeve and the length of the jacket. Um, and you're going to have to – I don't know those measurements off the top of my head. I looked them up. So you're you going to have a to, little chart. I have a chart, yes. Yeah, so you're going to have to look up measurements for short, long, and regular. And it's going to tell you what the length of the jacket should be, what the length of the sleeve should be, and other measurements. But I just do sleeve length and width and that usually gives me a um accurate measurement of whether a jacket's going to be a 45 44 regular short long or yes that. like a bucket hat like gilligan would wear on the island <laughs> yes, yes that kind of hat <laughs> that's exactly it rush girl said no oh elizabeth got the workshop and she's loving it she's on day three oh, it gets yay. a lot better stay tuned oh yay Woo -woo. <laughs> awesome yeah, so pick up your accessories. They're also easier to store because they're usually smaller. And people search for those things in the summertime and buy them. Right. BDUs uh, do sell, Kimberly. We sold a couple last year. Um, they will sell. Uh, not for crazy amounts of money, but um, you, you do need – yeah, the patches need to come off. You can't yeah. sell them. I, I don't even think – you can sell them with the U.S. Army patch. You're not supposed to, but I, I think that even that has to come off. Army it says Army. Right? You're not really supposed to sell them with even that patch on, um, but people sell them like that all the time. So it, it depends on on how uh I've even sold, go. like, the training I think they're from training. Like, the gray shirts that say Army, not just regular, like a T-shirt. I've sold those before with the A on the back. I think those are for, like, jogging and, like, exercise in the Army. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I sold those. I don't know if they were actually in the army or yeah. they just like, you know, supporting our troops and like but you can representing, sell them. you know, because that's why a lot of people, a lot of people do that. You know, that's you're welcome. Angel okay. Strife 89 she, uh, going through the course and I'm liking it so far. Yeah, we do have a course uh, on Poshmark, Poshing for Profits. If you guys are interested in that, get in touch with us. We'll give you all the details on it. It's pretty cool. Um, we have any other tips? That's it, right? No, that's, <laughs> I told you they were unconventional. Like, you know, like thinking outside of the box. Like, what can you do that you don't aren't already doing? Maddie J said, my husband actually suggested picking up a shed. <laughs> Great mind, like. Your husband must be like, wow, there are buckets of like clothing in the middle of my kitchen. <laughs> you gotta build a shed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, guys, um, we'll, we'll give you a few more seconds for a few more questions. Throw them in the comments if you have questions. Um, if not, we'll wait a few minutes, and then we will be done for the night. Uh, next week, as we said, we're going to come out with a full summer trend video on the live show. So we're going to have women and men's trends. We're going to go – got to do a little research on it. So this is Karen. So we're going to find out everything about oh, summer trends. Oh, jazz missed us. <laughs> And put that out next week. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be an awesome show. Everything you need to know to prepare for summertime trend wise oh yeah you guys can drop your um yep. poshmark closet in of answer. course anytime anytime don't even have to ask just throw nope. your poshmark closet in the comments we love that that's if, right if you get blocked we'll approve it just put them in there you're good to go it's usually not the everybody live should be following happens. everybody so um if you're not following someone and you see their closet occasionally we'll once the video posts you know um 
not a live video and it posts. I think the at sign might trigger something in like um, YouTube's algorithm to like, uh, it goes into like the spam folder where I have the approve or disapprove. I've already said the at symbol is okay. Whoopi Lover has a question. I yeah, gotta get to this real nice. quick. I got a notification that someone styled me. What does that mean? It means <laughs> they don't know how to use Poshmark properly. Um, if you didn't ask them to be styled and they're styling you, it means they're trying to show you their items that they they think you might buy. Most of the time, they don't look at your size. I get styled all the time in like smalls, extra smalls, mediums. I'm like, I'm not a medium. I haven't been a medium since I was 18. It's never gonna happen again. Um, <laughs> so it's basically people just don't understand not understanding how to use the app. If you ask to be styled, then that's when you should style back. And, and fill, um, out your style fill out your style card. card. Yeah, I've been requested style. I had two requests back to back, like six seconds ago, five seconds ago, like two people back to back. Both of them had an incomplete style card. When you first sign up for Poshmark, they ask you like dress, shoe, and pant. But then you go back in and you fill everything out. Yep. You know, so it's like I don't know what shirt she wants. Yeah, fill out your style cards. That's a I great tip. Or, or just empty. And I'm so like, how am I gonna style you? Diane Grease says, "What do you think of the minimum items you should have in your closet to have decent sales?" I just started last week. I would say minimum two fifty, right? Uh, yeah. Two fifty. Yeah, yeah. Um, one fifty, you'll start seeing more consistency. You know, like you'll definitely start seeing more. But I hovered at 250 for a very long time. And, you know, it was just like a, this sweet spot for me. <laughs> but yeah, 250, you'll start seeing definite results there. RD Hayes, um, yeah. RD Hayes, email, uh, message us on uh, Instagram and we'll get you all the info for the course that you need. Um, at Thrifty Flamingo, know the. And uh, we'll get back to you tonight if you message us tonight. So all the things, Lorenzo. I think the style thing is something Poshmark does. They offer it. Um, if you ever go to your your um, not your news feed, but your your actual feed where your followers share their stuff to, um, especially on the phone, it'll say like, "Oh, get styled for weekend wear." And Robin, we can see it, it. <laughs> and then it will find Sorry. someone that it, it the Poshmark. Kind of uh, matches you with somebody that's what poshmark does but you know you can definitely request the styling and it could be done accidentally i think especially on a cell phone i've noticed that but yeah um they don't just randomly you know poshmark's not like hey randomly let's style each other you know yeah, <laughs> but no, they make that's... it available to happen they 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 style match once the styling happens Okay, yeah, that that's what happens, but they don't actually just randomly Poshmark's are like, let's style everybody. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us tonight. Thank Bye, you Robin. so much for tuning in. Oh, Definitely hit that subscribe Easter, button. Too. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video, and definitely get on our email list if you're brand new to this channel. Click the first link in the description, gives you all the info you need for everything on us. Plus you get a free six part Poshmark video workshop sent right to your email just for joining the email list. Shows you how we run a full time Poshmark closet right out of our Poshmark business, right out of our house. It's awesome content that you can't get on YouTube, so check it out. It's gonna do it for us tonight, guys. Tune in next week for the summer Song trends from us. In the description. You'll learn more about it. <laughs> Bye everybody.